All right, so I'm not gonna waste your time. The number one way you can go taller during or after your growth spurt is to eat more food. If you're someone like me who has a really fast metabolism, a really high metabolism, eating food is the best way you can get taller and even just stronger in general. And I'm not talking about just like adding a little bit more food to your plate every dinner. I'm talking about one and a half times in, two times in the calories that you're consuming every single day. There's actually a chance that you should be consuming twice as much food as you are currently having in your life. Just eat more food. Now, you should avoid very, very sugary foods and extremely highly processed foods. So you can still have those, but I would just try to limit them. Again, like you're at an age where like you, you can't grow after a certain age. Like you, it's just not gonna happen. You're not gonna grow taller at the age of 25. So if you want to have like the sweets and the junk food, then I, it, it's fine. It is okay, especially if you're at an age where like, you know, you are still growing, but I would try to just avoid that as much as I like can. These are the only foods that you should avoid. Otherwise, everything else, you should just be stacking up and eating as much as you can. Pasta, just gulp it down, rice, anything. Just, just stack the food. Eat as much as you can. I've literally doubled, even sometimes tripled my dinner intake. And I've literally started noticing at the age of 16, I've literally started noticing that I'm becoming a little bit, little bit, little bit more taller. I think this is the biggest way you can grow taller is just to eat more food, specifically carbohydrates and protein. You should, cons you should consume these the most, especially protein, because obviously that gives you the muscles and that gives you like the strength, which can help you grow as well. Again, I'm no fucking scientist, but like it makes sense that if you have more protein, you're gonna get taller. Same thing with carbohydrates, it's just that yeah, it gives you that energy. It gives you that, and not only gives you the energy, but also gives you, it gives the, your body the energy to grow taller. Again, you could probably correct me in the comments, but it worked for me. I've literally been like tripling my rice intake and I'm actually starting to notice me going taller. So yeah. The second tip, which has really, really helped, is just sleeping more. Now, so this is gonna be difficult because like, you know, obviously you're watching this video, you're probably younger and you're probably in school. And obviously the you know, school is, it's, it's, a, it's a bit weird. Like, you know, you have to wake up very, very early. And when you come back from school, you only have a couple of hours before then you have to you know, repeat the cycle of like sleeping early and stuff like that. I get that. And it's hard but you should try to work around it. Try to just try to sleep a little bit earlier. And when you do get the chance that you know you can sleep and let's say you have a holiday or it's the weekend or it's your summer holidays, sleep as much as you can. Don't stay up until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. The latest you should stay up until is like 12 a.m. But again, it really depends on when you get up. Like you should be in bed for 11 hours. You literally should be in bed for 11 hours, maybe even more sometimes because Again, you, the, the guy, like, you know, everyone keeps telling you, oh, you know, eight hours of sleep is enough. You know, that's all you need. Eight, seven to eight hours of sleep is enough. Not for me. Like, especially for teenagers. I don't know if it's just a, a thing for teenagers or what, but it's just, it just doesn't suffice. Eight hours of sleep just doesn't suffice. I literally need to get, like, ten hours of sleep for me to even, like, function at, and do, like, the simplest things. I need that sleep. So, you're, you should be sleeping for as long as you physically can. Even if you can't sleep, you should still be in bed as long as possible. And plus, again, it's just, it just gives you so many more health benefits. You know, you get less pimples, you feel more energetic, and height is just a bonus on that. So, why not just do it anyway? The last step I will give you is to exercise. Now, I started exercising at the age of 15, just around last year, and it helped. It really, really helped. It's thing about you, your bones are trying to grow and you, you need some support for, for, for your bones to grow and you know building muscle around it supports that bone growth so you can grow more. Now again I'm not a scientist but this is like I've you know researched a lot I've watched a lot of videos on this and I've also implemented this for more than a year and I've started noticing like growth obviously by the title I literally went from like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, to now, I'm literally like 5'8", almost 5'9". So, again, it it worked for me. And that that's what worked for me, I'm telling you to the camera right now. Now, obviously, don't be stupid. Like, I, there, there's this, you know, like, myth where it's like, oh, you know, if you if you do squats, then you it'll stunt your growth. I don't think that's true. But, like, obviously, if you put, like, 500 kilos on the bar, then, yeah, that's probably, you, you'll probably injure yourself in a really bad way. But just exercising, moving around, giving your body just freedom to move around and stuff, just doing physical activity is just, you know, even if it's like running, 
And if you're someone like me who has really, really skinny legs, you should work out your legs a lot as well. Like, obviously, squats and stuff like that. Like, Because I feel like, again, a lot of the growing it depends on the legs as well. My legs are really, really weak. And, and I think that has been sort of detrimental to my uh, my growth in some way. So working out your legs is probably a really, really good way to grow your height as well. But just exercising in general gives you so many health benefits. Same with sleeping and same with eating more food. You notice that every single tip that I just gave you is going to help you in every single aspect of your life. It's not just you growing height. It's going to help you in everything. It's going to help you, your, your mental health It's going to help your physical health. It's going to make you feel more energetic. It's going to make you feel more like it's going to make you feel more smart, more sharp. It's just going to be beneficial to your life in all ways. So if you're doing this, you shouldn't just do this for the height growth. You should just do this as your like as your life. You, this is your life. This is your life now. You're just trying to become better by doing things that are good for you. Obviously, you know, growing height is a very, very like that, 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 that might be a big motivator for you. I understand that it is for me as well. But this is just going to help you like benefit you in all aspects of life. So there's literally no reason not to do it. Even if you're 30 watching this video, you should still you know, obviously maybe not eating a lot, but like, you know, sleeping, prioritizing, 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 prioritizing sleep, prioritizing uh, exercising, just prioritizing your health, it's a general, I can't say that word, prioritizing, fucking hell, prioritizing your health is just a positive in of itself, so I don't understand why you just wouldn't do it anyway. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, it's free and it's a win-win for the both of us, thank you so much for watching.